Well, here it is. This is my cabbage in for beginners. This is uh, what's left of the bulb. You can see that little uh, spot down there. Right uh, here. That's what's left of the filament. It did work. For a short while it worked. Which told me something was wrong. Because things like that don't happen to me. For me. I have my variac hooked up. Turned it on. The bulb immediately lit up as soon as that started sparking. It ran it up to about 70, 80 volts. It started sparking. The light lit up. I shut it down because I was amazed. Cranked it back up. It started sparking and then whoop, everything stopped. Cranked it up. Nothing. Turned it on. Turned it off. Figured the diode blew. Or the circuit breaker went. Or fuse in the variac. It was a fuse in the variac. It blew my 8 amp fuse in the variac. Put on a bigger fuse. Fired it up again. Started sparking, flashing, lights just bright. It's like a 40 watt bulb in here. It's only a 40, 50 watt. Started flashing and real bright and everything. Then it went dim and I looked in there. It's hard to look in before because it was so bright. And here it's arcing in there. So that didn't last too long. Thing is, with this setup, it comes out of the mot, through the capacitor, this diode gives you your DC pulses, and this other half of the transformer is grounded and this other end of the diode is grounded so you got one line running out that actually does the work to the ground so it goes comes out of the transformer into the cap out of the cap into this oh into the uh, spark gap yeah it comes out here comes out of this into the spark gap from here goes the sparks onto the rod from the rod into this line from here it's wrapped up down left and right dee -dee -dee -dee. comes out here and it's crimped onto this copper line right here the outer it's crimped on there that's what he said to do crimp it on runs through the coil comes out of the coil ends up here this is your hot output and here's your ground had my ground line on there don't it's not on there now that's the plug-in for the mod but that's the uh, that's why it works you're shoving 1500 volts, 2000 volts pulsed through a spark gap which is going to spark at 1500 volts it's going from there each time it sparks it comes out you've got a continuous circuit wired in circuit where it goes in comes out at 1500 volts it's going to go through anything it can and it's going to end up here. It's, a, it's, it's not like a Tesla coil. Not with this wired into this outer coil. So it comes out, ends up here. There's your ground. Put your load on there. Boom. Yeah, it's going to work. It has to work. There's, there's no break in it other than the spark gap. And once that thing sparks with 15, 2,000 volts, it has to work. That's why it did work. That's why I burned out my bulb. And the poor guy that he's got uh, 10 
150 watt bulbs he's amazed about yeah this thing's pulling uh, maybe 10 12 amps yeah at uh, 120 volts yeah I bet I could light up uh, 10 150 watt bulbs too with this thing it's only 1500 watts But yeah, it's a it's a 2010 video. But that's uh, I've been sitting on this thing. I had it half built since 2010. I thought I'd finish the thing. So it didn't take much longer to do. The transformer. Here's a ground strap. Ground strap. Transformer is tied to the ground strap. Transformer is part of the circuit. It's grounded for one leg of this. This here is a ground strap. Runs to the center. It's got a copper tube with aluminum uh, nails wrapped around it. That's what the guy wanted to uh, put something conductive inside. So I shoved a hunk of copper and some aluminum down through the center of it. It's on a PVC tube pencils holding the uh, distance away yeah I got two wires on this just in case one wasn't uh, enough to handle any kind of current and uh, that's all there is to it so I don't know if uh, the poor guy who made the video if he's actually thinks this is something because it's basically not uh, he's got his outside I'll have to just for grins I cannot see what advantage it would be to increase the grounding points by driving stakes in the ground I can't see what advantage that would be to uh, lower any current on this thing Whether it increases the ground or not, I've still got a continuous circuit here. But that's the uh, experience. Yeah, poor old bulb didn't last too long. Maybe 30 seconds of testing, that was about it. But that's it. I had a feeling something was wrong here. That's my uh, beginner's cabbage in.